Okay, so now that we got GAM installed, congratulations, because I know that was a process of, of switching back and forth and uh, uh, permissions and accepting and trying and it fails and then it passes. Congratulations. Um, and, and certainly I had my own little challenges uh, within there because I had already installed it, so I had to go and uninstall it to reinstall it to make this video for you guys. So now that you have accomplished that, the beautiful thing is you never have to do that again. And now you can just use um, the user report function that we talked about in some of the other videos, which I will uh, link over there. And in that video, we were able to pull a user report from our admin console that listed uh, our users, their email addresses, their sub orgs, and all that information. We're going to use that Excel file. Um, to actually generate a GAM code. And what it's going to be able to do is we're going to be able to pull uh, from that file, let's say our class of 2020, 2019, 2018, whatever class you want to suspend, and you're going to be able to just filter out those students. And then using GAM, we're going to be able to do the bulk suspension. And so that's what we're going to do in this part of the video. So congratulations on making it this far. Let's continue. Okay, so we're going to come back to this article. So this is the, the bit.ly slash AOP text GAM. And we're going to come down to look at this box right here. And I've already typed in the codes for you so you don't have to retype anything. What you're going to do is you're going to copy this script right here under the bulk suspend user. So go ahead and just right click and copy. And then you're going to pull up that user file report that we generated in one of the previous videos and here I have my users, the email address and and the other information and for us today I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to insert a column here uh, because this is going to be my uh, GAM script code um, and here I have my users this is the the class I want to delete and so I'm just going to paste in the code now, right now, in the format bar, it's looking at A2. I need it to look at C2 in, in my case. I want it to point to um, the user. So if I, if I move this over, uh, the script should say GAM update user. It should have the user's email address suspend on. And so what this is saying is saying, hey, this user, I want you to suspend. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag it down to all of our users that we would wish to suspend. And now from here, I'm going to copy all these. Right click, copy. I'm going to open up um, my command prompt window. And all I need to do, so I'm actually, um, it's really helpful to actually test it with just one. So we'll say, well, let's just copy our first one just to make sure it works. Paste that in there, hit enter. Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump back to our admin console. Okay, so I jumped back into my admin console and I looked up that user and we can see that uh, two minutes ago that user was suspended. So we know it works. So now we can come back to our spreadsheet. We're going to copy everybody else, copy, and then we're going to come back to our command prompt, control, ah, and we can paste it in there. And you can see that it is running through and it's suspending all the users from that spreadsheet. Of course, depending on uh, the number of users that you are suspending, uh, this could take some time. Um, for, I mean, I'm doing about 30 right now, and it'll take me about probably two or three minutes to go through and suspend them all. But this is a really easy way to do a, a massive bulk suspension. And of course, suspending users is always preferable versus deleting them because you can unsuspend them. Uh, their files, their information, their data remains intact. 
Um, and so you can always come back to it, especially if uh, somebody left or somebody needs a file, or if you have someone who leaves and then returns, you can just unsuspend them and they can get access to everything again. So this is Aaron for AOP Tech, and hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Like I said, this is a video series on the admin console, and you can check out the next video in the series right over there, and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments below. So Aaron for AOP Tech, thank you so very much.